Hey guys, in week two, we're going to be using I Mocha. C Daffodil. And B Kelly Green. Kelly Green. And that's the first part of the first square on week two. And I started doing them about 6.30. And I think it's almost 8 now. 8.30. So it took me a couple hours. But I made, I got this far on four of them. And I'm going to continue on. Um... Because I'm on row 6. And so row 7. I'll be using. So the rest of the flower will be using F. D. And back to I. And then D and J. So we're going to be doing F. Which is. Which is Bluebell. So Bluebell. And then we're going to go back to daffodil. I mean, oh, grass green. So we're going to do F, which is bluebell. And then D, which is daffodil, which is grass green. And then we're going to go back to mocha. And then grass green. And then magenta. And mushroom. And then back to G, which is Meadow. And that will be the first square that will be done. So, um, I'll bring out those colors when I get done with it. And talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. I just finished my four squares of the flower. And I used... Meadow, Mushroom, and Magenta, and uh, today is Wednesday, uh, May the 19th, and uh, I am, so I got half of week two done, so I did these, so here's what my front looks like. And here's what my back looks like. And now I am going to start on the perfect river scene right there. And I'm going to be using B, which is, um, that Kelly green and I guess I'll have to show y'all when I get all the yarn out and get started um, I'm gonna try to get that done today and see if I can't get caught up all right talk to you later bye okay guys I finished this so far but this one's gonna be off because I didn't notice that there was a color change so one's going to be off. So this is the second part of week two. Because yes, I am behind. But the colors we used were uh, Kelly Green. Oops. Daffodil, Mocha, Mushroom, Magenta, Cloud Blue, and Grass Green. And the edging is going to be Meadow. And I'm going to work on those. And then, see, these are huge.
compared to my other one. But I'm going to bear with it. And I hope that doesn't make a big deal because I messed up on the colors. But that's that right there. And um, so I'm going to finish those. And then see if I can't get them all stitched together and starting on week three. But I'll let you see um, my finished project. Um, I mean, I'll let you see once I get these done. Because I think I just got to put the border on it. And then on those three. On these three. And then I'll be done with week two. Okay, guys. So, my first week is done which was these and these right here. And then my second week is almost done. Well, my second week is done. I have four of these and I have four of these. Now, remember, here's what they look like, even though this one right here is wrong, because it's supposed to have that light green on top, but Birdie didn't read the directions and she forgot. She didn't, this is the first one I did, so all the other ones have it, because I did it, and their shape kind of wonky. <laughs> So, I'm not for sure if I did them correctly. So, that is week two is finalized. Now, I just need to do week three, which is joining all these together. So, I'm going to do that. And then, I will show you all the finished project. But, kind of behind. But, the only reason I'm kind of behind is because... When we did the big square, um, I knew that we had to do eight more little squares. <laughs> so I've already made my eight little squares. I just haven't put the border around because I'm not for sure what color yet. Because I don't want to pick the wrong pink, you know, that goes around there. So all these are done. There's the back. And there's the front. The only ends I need to sew in are the ends on the edges so that one's done so after I get done sewing all these together I'll show y'all the finished project um, and so hopefully I'll be caught up by week three and because this Friday is gonna be week five and so I'll let y'all know what happens bye guys